Second day, people gathered outside the state capitol to protest Georgia's election count. The president's supporters are fueled by his unsubstantiated claims of fraud. The vice president, Mike Pence, will be in Georgia tomorrow. A few Republicans are welcoming the chance to focus on something other than the president's messaging. 11 Alive Doug Richards has more. While President Trump and some of his backers complain about widespread election fraud in Georgia that does not appear to really exist, some Republicans are worried that Democrats in Georgia are getting a vitally important head start on the U.S. Senate runoff. Though President Trump has mostly stayed uncharacteristically offstage, he has kept up his messages online about Georgia's election recount. In an email to supporters, he called it the fake recount going on in Georgia. In morning tweets, he called for signature check on ballot envelopes, which would be illegal under state law in an audit. And Trump backer, former Georgia Congressman Newt Gingrich, talked up fraud fantasies on Fox News. I can't for the life of me understand why a Republican governor would preside over massive theft and do nothing to stop it. Newt, of all people who should know better, was, was touting this line about fraud. Former GOP state party chairman Rusty Paul was on GPB radio. It's just disappointing. Along with former U.S. Senator Saxby Chambliss and former Georgia Attorney General Sam Olins, all Republicans, all wishing the fraud claims would give way to grassroots energy for David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler. The Republicans facing Democrats Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff in the January U.S. Senate runoffs. They need the full support of everybody in the Republican Party. We don't need a distraction. Shambliss won the last U.S. Senate runoff in 2008. Olin says Republicans should take note of the absence of evidence behind Trump's claims. They have no evidence of such fraud. Um, that frankly makes everyone look foolish. The issue is January 5. The issue were the two Senate seats and the importance of the two Senate seats. Purdue and Loeffler will campaign Friday with Vice President Mike Pence on the same day that Georgia is scheduled to certify its election results, quite likely under the protest of President Trump.